Welcome back to another show of Golf Tips. I'm your host and teaching professional, Gary Bauer. On today's show, we'll visit Westchester Golf Course, a beautiful course to play in Canal Winchester, Ohio. Thanks for watching, we'll be right back. Thanks for watching. Now, at this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Brian Wallach, the owner here at Westchester Golf Course. Hi, Brian. Hi, Gary. So tell us a little bit about this beautiful course. So this beautiful course is a little over 7,100 yards from the tips. We have five different tee boxes. We also are bent grass from tee to green. This was a Mike Kurtzen design. The course opened in 1997. We actually took possession of this golf course December 1st of last year. And since then, we have remodeled our clubhouse. We moved our pizza restaurant into here, which was the Olive Branch Pizzeria, and is now located inside the clubhouse. We also have your typical golf course food in there, but our pizza is what we're really known for, and we make everything from scratch, and we make our dough every day, we make our sauces every day. We have eight different sauces and 30-something different toppings. So we have something for the whole family. I had a pizza here last night. It was fantastic. Good food, isn't it? G great food, absolutely. So we also, at this golf course, we have a beautiful driving range. We also have this nice putting green, and we also have some chipping area off over there. And this is a great place to bring your family, come out and get some lessons, and come out and learn how to play golf. It's a very challenging course. A very nice course, but a very fair course. Yes. Yeah, yes. and like you said, for the whole family to come out and play. Yes. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Welcome back. And on this first segment of today's show, we're going to cover putting. And I have one of my students, Robin. Hi, Robin. Hi, Gary. Thanks for having me at this beautiful course. That is no problem. We're going to cover the putting stroke to bring the putter head straight back, straight through it, alignment, and how to read the green. And Robin, I've had you in the past for lessons. And yes. your putting's not too bad. Um, but I want you to be able to make those three, four footers a lot more consistently. Okay. Right. So first thing I want you to do is go ahead and line up the, the ball there. And we have about a four foot putt here. So show us how to line it up. I use the lines on the ball. Mm -hmm. I try to read the green. This green looks like it's gonna go from left to right. Left to right a little bit, yeah. Maybe about, what, an inch? Uh, yeah. Okay. So you're gonna aim the arrows on the golf ball, the line on the golf ball, about an inch to left of the hole. Right. Correct. Okay. That's my goal. Okay. All right. Now with putting, it doesn't matter how you stand or how you grip the club. You should have your head, your eyesight directly over the golf ball and bring the putter head straight back, low and slow and straight through it. Now grip. Robin, it doesn't matter how you grip the club. You can have left hand low. You can do a, do a five finger grip, 10 finger grip. Okay. It doesn't matter, but you should have your head, your eyesight directly over the ball and try to bring the putter head low and slow, straight back and straight through it. Okay. All right, see so what you got here. Her setup looks real good. Absolutely perfect, she hit it, absolutely. Yeah, now I tell a lot of my students, how hard to swing, they ask me, how hard do I, am I supposed to swing? It all depends on how fast the green is. That's something I can't tell you or any other golf professional can tell you. You have to judge that yourself. You have to figure that out. How far to bring that putter head back, how far to follow through, okay? Now these right. greens seem to be running fast. They are fast, yeah. extremely fast. This is a fantastic course. Yes. Yeah, so the greens here at Westchester Golf Course are extremely fast and great. All right, let's see another one, okay? And again, doesn't matter how you stand, doesn't matter how you grip the club, you can do left hand low, the 10 finger grip, uh, reverse overlap grip, doesn't matter. Good stroke though, very good stroke. If the hole was bigger, I would have made it. Absolutely. <laughs> if there was a hole there, you would have made it. Yes. Absolutely. All right, well, let me see, take some practice swings. All right. Let me see some practice swings. So her grip looks good. And she has her finger down the shaft. It helps. And, and that's okay, that's good. It gives me a little guide for some yeah. reason. And there's a lot of players on tour that do that, men and women. Okay. So that's, that's fine, absolutely. Okay. 
and her wrists are staying stiff. She's bringing the putter straight back, straight through it. That looks good. I have a lot of my students that they'll say, well, I've got a, a six foot putt. Do I bring the yeah. putter head six inches back? Uh, no, not necessarily. If the green is extremely fast, you have to figure that out the speed. Uh, so that's not true if you had a six foot putt, bring the putter head six inches back. If you have an eight foot putt, you bring the putter head eight inches back. Not true at all. No, you have to figure that out, come out, practice before you go out and play. Yeah. All right. So the wrist stays stiff and firm. Your head, your eyesight, it's over the ball, but it doesn't matter how you stand or how you grip the club when you putt. Okay, Robin, line another one up here. Let's see what you got. Now I'm gonna get in back of you this time and I'm gonna see your alignment. So she's using the little arrows on the golf ball. If she thinks it's going to break left to right one inch, how far out to the left would you aim the arrows or the line on the golf ball, Robin? One inch. Though. One inch, there you go. Okay. Now she's taking the line on her putter She's lining it up, the line on top of the putter with the arrow on the golf ball, and she's trying to connect the two as she follows through. Absolutely perfect. Tailed off a little bit to the right, but that, you got your alignment pretty good there. Very good. All right, let's see some more practice swings here. Let's see some practice swings. Let's bring that putter head low and slow, straight back and straight through it here. Yep, keep that putter head low to the ground. See one more. Very good. All so right. should 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 be scuffing the scuffing the green. Yeah, you can brush the grass, the green a little bit, but you're actually going to be hitting up into the ball when you putt. You hit up into the the golf ball. All right, let's see another one. Let's see a good putt here. Lima looks real good. She thinks it will break left to right one inch. And I see the arrows on the golf ball aimed about an inch to the left of the hole. Her wrist will stay stiff and firm. Got it. Very good. All right, let's see some more putting strokes here. Some practice strokes. And I really like how she keeps her head still during the putt. She comes straight back and straight through it. She's just using her arms. All right, let's see one more putt here. She's got her alignment. Head, eyesight over the ball, wrist stays stiff and firm. The line on top of her putter is lining up with the arrows on the golf ball. She's gonna connect the two as she follows through. Straight back, straight through it. Excellent stroke. Not bad though. Very good, Robin. Good job. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Welcome back. Now on this next segment of today's show, I have one of my students, Derek, and Derek's gonna hit some long irons. He's gonna start with a four iron. And Derek's a very good golfer, has a great golf swing, but he's gonna show you how to do it. Okay, Derek, let's see some practice swings here. Now he has his four iron. You can see his feet are gonna be shoulder width. That's for balance. His hands will be under his chin, clubbing back the ball to give him the proper distance from the golf ball. Not bad. A little bit to the right there. To the right. <laughs> All right. Let's see a couple of practice swings, Derek. Okay. Now you can see Derek has a shorter backswing, which is fine, but, he, but he's very compact. He has a short backswing, but he can get through the ball. He turns his right knee up by his left knee, he transfers his weight real well, gets all that weight to his left side, and his turn is absolutely perfect. All right. So got a little bit out ahead of that one, blocked it to the right. So he just leaned out a little bit versus turning into it. Mm, another one. Yeah, a little bit of a block there, yeah. So on the downswing, now if we 
hit it to the right. Derek's a right-handed golfer. If you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. But Derek, let's see a couple practice swings here. So on the downswing, what he's doing wrong there, those last two shots, which is really something that a lot of people do, they tend to lean or sway out. That will open the club face and block it or push it to the right. So we wanna get that turn, so stay a little bit more centered, stay behind the ball more or less, and his hands will come around by his left shoulder, left ear. There we go, absolutely perfect. That's, that's what I see, what I've seen in the past. That's a great <laughs> golf swing there, nice little draw. How far do you think you hit that four iron, Derek? Uh, probably around 190 to 210. It's 190 roughly what I get yeah. somewhere in that range, depending on carry yeah. and conditions. Yeah, you really, he moves that ball. He gets it out there. So he's going to bring his hands around by his left shoulder, left ear. He's going to turn into it. Absolutely perfect. And see how he's facing towards the target. His right knee's up by his left knee. He's cleared his left hip out. He's transferred his weight. What's the furthest you, can, you think you can hit this for, Aaron? Uh, if it's a good day and everything is feeling good, I'm around 220 to 230. I was going to say about 220, 225 <laughs> at least. Yeah. So the setup is perfect. Ball position is pretty good. More towards the middle, a little bit forward a little bit with him. But we got to turn into it. Okay, a little bit of a block again. So he leaned or swayed just a little bit. It's the All right. one thing I struggle with. Okay, still just a little bit of a lean, yeah. Now, how do we correct that? Now, take some practice swings. What I want him to do is, there's two things I tell my students to do. Derek, when you come down, think about the toe of this club. Okay. You'll release your right hand over or the toe goes up towards the sky. Okay. Or you can bring the hands around quicker by your left shoulder, left ear, and that forces you to turn into it and transfer that weight, right knee up by left knee, and he turns into it, okay? So that's what we need to do. We need to turn into that shot, but if we lean or sway a little bit, we block it or push it to the right. Overcorrection. Okay. Yeah, just overcorrected. Yeah, just a little bit. A little bit of a pull hook, so to speak, but at least you got around into that one. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's see a couple practice swings. Yep. Now really try to get those hands around by your left shoulder, left ear as you turn into it. If you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. There we go. Okay, up a little bit. A little yeah, bit. A, little, a little thin on that one. Thin. And if we do, take some practice swings here. And if we hit a little low, we have a low ball flight. We pulled that left shoulder up a little bit versus keeping your shoulders more level to transfer your weight to turn into it. If I pull my left shoulder up, I'm going to hit it thin or top it if I pull up quite a bit. So you got to keep those shoulders level and come right on around. Good ball. Excellent. Excellent. Good turn. Right knee up by left knee. He cleared his left hip out. Shoulders stayed level. Hands came around by his left shoulder, left ear. Very good weight transfer. Solid. Not Very bad solid. at all. Not bad. So on a good day, you can hit this about 225 then. Yes. Yeah. And take some practice swings. As you can see, he doesn't get parallel towards top at the top of his back swing, but he's got a good compact swing and he does get through the shot. I've seen, seen him enough to really transfer his weight to his left side. And that's the key, we turn into the shot. Good balance, good turn, good weight transfer. That's what we've got to do. Hmm. Left the club face okay. up, and that yeah, was all on me on that, that one, yeah. yeah. So we got, got out ahead of it a little bit there, blocked it, just pushed it a little bit. Now take a couple practice swings, and really think about bringing those hands around by your left shoulder, left ear. Or on some of my students, I tell them it's the toe up drill. We, as we get through the shot, the toe of the club faces towards the sky, that releases a right hand over, and we hit a straight shot, it's a little bit of a draw.
Absolutely perfect. Straight as an arrow. Straight as an arrow. That was very good. Hey, Derek, good job there. Thank you. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Thanks for watching. Now, in this next segment of today's show, Derek's going to hit a five iron, and Derek shows how to do it. Okay. As you can see, his feet are going to be shoulder width for balance. His hands will be below his chin, clubbing back the ball to give him the proper distance from the golf ball. Ball position towards the middle. And watch how he turns into the shot here. Okay, a little heavy on that one. A little heavy. Okay, and we all do that. I've done it myself. <laughs> so on the downswing, what happened, Derek? On the downswing, your right shoulder actually dropped a dropped little bit versus staying level and through the shot. So that's why we hit it fat or heavy. If that right shoulder drops, we're going to hit it fat or heavy. Hit behind that ball. Perfect. That's how you do it. Okay. So his feet are shoulder width for balance. Hands are below his chin, clubbing back the ball, giving him the proper distance from the golf ball. Grip is real good. Perfect grip. Perfect. High draw. Good ball yes, flight. Now, ball flat like that, that ball will set down on the green. Maybe even have some backspin. Just a little. Yeah, maybe. Okay, a little bit of a thin shot there. A little bit of up and out of the shot. So what happened? He swayed forward a little bit, got out a little bit ahead of it, and actually came up a little bit with that left shoulder to hit a little thin. So we got to stay level, stay behind the ball, so to speak. Not lean or sway out and get a good turn. Right knee up by left knee. Hands come around by his left shoulder, left ear. Perfect. Absolutely, absolutely perfect. Very good shot there, Thank man. Thank you, Greg. Yeah. Ball flight, everything. And he turns so much into it, his right shoulder actually points out towards the target line. Very good. Perfect. Look at his right shoulder. So he comes around into it. Excellent. Excellent. Now, on a good day, Derek, how far do you think you can hit this five iron? It's around the 190 to 200 range. 190 to 200, yeah, because yes. you can move the ball. And again, he has a short backswing, but he has a compact swing. He transfers his weight. He gets through the shot. Perfect. Good ball. Good ball. Good ball. A little thin on that, but you know, on the backswing, I think your club head got hung up, didn't it? A did he? On the, on the takeaway there. Yeah. Yes, sir. And sometimes that's hard to stop. What happened was when he brought the club back, he caught a little bit of grass there and it threw him off, timing off, balance. Yeah. So five iron ball position middle. Middle stance, feet shoulder width, hands are below his chin. Ah. You got hung up again. Hung up again bit. a little yeah. bit, yeah. Yeah. I was always told low and slow when I first started yeah. playing, and it's always hung with me. Yeah. And you know what, Derek? Some of the players on their backswing, when they start the backswing, they pick the club up and then start the backswing. I don't really promote that because you have to have really good timing and balance to do that. And a lot of the players on TV, they'll do that too with their woods when they tee it up. But again, when, when I give the lessons, when I teach, I, I don't promote that. I think it's too hard for the average golfer to do. Derek's well above average. He's a low handicap golfer. But to try to teach that, that's just too tough. I'd rather have the people set the club flat on the gra grass, ground, and drag the club back, back and through. That was solid. That was a, that solid was a great swing. Thank Very you. good swing. Balance was there, timing, tempo, everything. So it's just arms and turn. His hands come around by his left shoulder, left ear. He's keeping, keeping his shoulders level, transferring his weight to his left side. That's the best one of the day right that there. That is the best one. That is the best one of the day. Now that, that five iron went to probably about two, 205. He cranked that one. Very good, very good. Thank you. 
Now, you know, the greens here at Westchester are in fantastic shape. So, so you know what? That, that ball would have sat down and spun back. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. This golf course is pristine. I mean, it is perfect. Another great shot. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. You know, one thing about this course is bent grass fairways. I love playing off bent grass fairways. I mean, that you can create some backspin. You get some fantastic lies, obviously. It's just backing through it. Absolutely perfect. Solid. Solid. And that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Hands are below his chin, feet are shoulder width for balance. Ball position there, middle towards a little bit forward in his stance, arms in turn. Yep, a little, a little heavy, heavy on that one. A little heavy. So on the downswing, his right shoulder just dropped a little bit. Hit one more for me. Absolutely. Yeah. Shoulder is level, hands finished around by the left shoulder, left ear. Solid, great shot, great shot. Thank you. Good job. Thanks. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Welcome back. And on this last segment of today's show, Derek's gonna hit a six iron. And long irons are not hard clubs to hit. He's hit a four so far, he's hit a five, now he's gonna hit a six. So show us how to do it, Derek. Absolutely. So setup is there, ball position towards the middle. He plays it middle or a little bit forward, just a little bit. Hands are under his chin. Wow. Wow. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Sometimes it all comes together. And again, as you can see, Derek has a very compact, a short swing, back swing. Doesn't matter. He gets through the shot. That's the key. If you have a short back swing, that's okay, but you've got to transfer your weight to your left side. He clears out his left side. Right knee up by left knee, his left hip clears out of the way. Another perfect shot. Picked it right off. Very, very good. Thank you. Very good. Derek, now on a good day, how far can you hit this six iron? Uh, around the 190 to 185, 190 range. 185, 190, yeah. And the average golfer, you at home, you're not going to hit a six iron 185 to 190. That's okay. You got to play within your limitations. Doesn't matter what club you use as long as you get there the quickest to that green, get that ball in the hole and get to the next hole. A little heavy on that one. Yep. A little bit. Not bad, ball flight was there, a little bit of a draw. And if we do hit a fat or heavy, again, it's just the right shoulder dropping. So talk about the setup. Hands are under his chin, gives him the proper distance from the golf ball. Feet are shoulder width for balance. Ball position middle or just a little bit forward with Derek because he gets through the ball. Oh, a little bit of a block there. A little block. So we leaned or swayed a little bit on the downswing. Just leaned out somewhat. And if we lean out, that slightly opens the club face. We block it or push it to the right. Derek, I've had some students that will really lean or sway out, and they slice it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they slice it off the face of the earth. That cost yes. you a lot of distance on that. Oh, yeah. You lose distance big time. So we got to get that turn in there. Hands come around by your left shoulder, left ear. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Now take you some practice swings. I had this husband and wife uh, the other night, they took lessons, Braxton and Alyssa, and they were both swaying out on the downswing quite a bit. They were blocking it or pushing it to the right. And I told them both, I said, now what you need to do, and they were right-handed golfers, you need to bring those hands around by your left shoulder, left ear. They were fishing up and out of the shot, especially Alyssa, she was coming up versus around. So we got to finish through the shot. Hands finish over just like that. And you can see on that practice, we do that practice swing again. You can see how his right shoulder is going to face the target as he follows through. Now that's a big follow through. A lot of you at home, you can't do that. You know, as we get older, we get a little bit more stiff, so to speak. But he's really getting through the shot. And that transfers his weight to his left side. 
I told Braxton, I said, Braxton's a young guy. I said, Braxton, if you can get that turn in there, get your right shoulder around facing the target, you'll hit a straighter shot and get a lot of height and a lot of distance, but you'll hit it straight too. Okay, a little bit, a little thin on that one, a little bit up and out of the shot. So he came up a little bit, a little bit of a sway. We blocked it or pushed it just a little bit to the right. Let me see your backswing. Go ahead and, and bring it back here on your takeaway. And that's about as far as he gets, and, and that's pretty good right there. You don't have to get parallel towards target. It does help, but he's strong. He's young. He gets through the shot, and again, he transfers his weight to his left side. Again, you at home, if you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. Oh, a little thin on that one. Yeah, left shoulder came up just a little bit. Let's see a practice swing. Absolutely. So keep those shoulders level, come right on around. And again, long irons aren't hard clubs to hit. Four iron, five iron, six iron. A lot of people, they want to hit hybrids all the time. Well, if you have a long iron in your bag, a four, five, or six, learn to hit it. Hybrids are good. But you can also get the ball up in the air with the longer iron. Just take some practice. Wow. Well, that was a rocket there. You hate to stop looking at them when they're well, like that. that. Probably went, that, was, that was probably about 190 on that one, 195 at least. Killed that one. Setup is there. Grip is absolutely perfect. Wow. Very nice. Hit one more for me. One more. Got it. Shoulders stay level. Say practice swing. Wow, perfect again. You got dialed in there. It's starting Great to come job. starting to come very, together. Very good. Great job. Thank you. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Well, that concludes today's show. I'd like to thank Brian, the owner here at Westchester Golf Course, a beautiful course to play in Canal Winchester, Ohio. Robin and Derek for being on the show. And join me next time on Golf Tips with teaching professional Gary Bauer.